Hi, this is Vicki Romaine with Cheerful Greetings, and today we're going to have some real fun. I've got all sorts of goodies here on my desk. Uh, the thing you'd probably notice the most is my sheet of birds, and uh, I planned ahead, so I didn't want you to have to watch me cut all these birds out, so let's see what I have hidden under my page. Here's all my birds. And uh, I'll try to point a couple out. And the th there's a certain thing I'm looking for um, on these birds. So I'm not going to be using them all. Uh, I'm going to only be using certain ones. Now let's see here. We have a, an owl. And he's got kind of a droopy tail. And there's uh, a bird, a hawk, and let's see. Some of these I really don't know. But I'm looking at how they're positioned uh, on the cardstock. So I'm going to be choosing, let's see, probably about three of these that I'm going to be working with uh, on the tutorial. So let me see if I've... They're also pretty. I got these online. And oh, look at the tail on that one. He's unusual. So I've got some here now that I'm going to be working with. And um, we'll uh, see what we can do. Now, if you happen to have some birds around, um, pull out just your supplies and let's see what we're going to make. I have one that I have done uh, previously uh, that I will show you. Now, just like my title says, we're going to make these birds look very classy and very uh, jazzy. And uh, what I'm looking at is the tails. As I said, I saw this tutorial uh, similar on YouTube. And here's my blue jay. Now, what do you think of him? How do you like his tail? His tail is all full of uh, siri cloth and with a piece of lace around it. So let's pick one of our birds here and work with it. I have so much uh, washi tape that I'll be trying to use here. Washi tape sometimes, you know, just doesn't keep its stickiness. But this seems to be a, a pretty good roll. And um, it ha actually has some of the colors that's in the bird. And so I picked this print. And I'm not going to talk much. I'm going to let you watch me. Um, and I'll tell you what the item is that I'm using in case you can't tell. So we're working now with washi tape. And I'm going to be showing you uh, using... I'll, each bird will have a different uh, technique done to it. So let's let's go ahead and, and watch this bird um, dress up. I am just putting layers of washi tape on my bird. And um, the end that goes past my um, digital uh, is sticking to the plastic cover on my desk. And there will be a couple of ways we can solve that problem. Uh, I can either dust the bottom of the back of it um, with uh, powder or I can cut it off and trim it exactly down to the tail of the bird, but I really don't want to do that. So what I probably will do is just leave it like it is and let it kind of curl up. And when I put it in my book, I can either uh, let it stay curled or um, let, that, let the tips of the um, washi tape adhere to the page. I still have a little section of the bird's tail that I want to cover. So we'll do that next. And then um, 
I'm going to uh, clip the ends of the washi tape to kind of make them look like feathers. I'm sorry to be working so close to the bottom of the screen. I hope you can tell what I'm doing. As I pull my um, bird off the uh, plastic covering there, um, you will notice that the tail's feathers are beginning to curl at the end. And that's because I've clipped the edges now and I've taken it off of the uh, protective sheet. And um, it has nothing to hold them down. So that's why I mentioned the uh, feathers earlier. Uh, right now, I need something to connect our so-called feathers or tail to the bird, um, so it won't, so it'll have a um, beginning point. In other words, it's kind of like a, a a pleated skirt needs a belt on it, or a waistband, and that's what I'm going to do now is fix a waistband around the bird so that it'll look like the feathers are hooked onto something, um, and she's wearing it like a, an overskirt. I call it a her, but anyway. So like the bird is wearing a, an overskirt of longer feathers that are more uh, elaborate than her natural ones. And that's where the little green piece of um, washi tape comes in. I said washi tape, but this is actually a piece of... Uh, paper ribbon and so I had to put some glue behind it to make it uh, adhere to the bird. Uh, what I'm doing now is uh, trying to decide if I want to put a little bling on uh, the feathers and I think I'll go with that. So I'll take a moment and and put a few uh, stones on here that will match the colors in uh, the feathers and uh, the little bird will be finished. I will show all the birds close up in a few minutes, but next I want to go to my uh, next method. Uh, this is my owl. I kind of like him. Uh, he's very stiff and proper. Uh, he doesn't have much of a tail, but I have this paper washi tape. In other words, it's a, a digital and they're washi tapes and they come in various sizes. So what I'm gonna do is, uh, um, trim some off that will match um, my owl. Now, his tail feathers barely stick over his body, so what I'm gonna be doing this time, this time is his wing. I'm not separating the pieces uh, of this um, digital. I'm using it as a whole body and what I'm going to do is kind of trim it down in the shape of his wing and so this process is very quick and uh, isn't quite as time consuming as the other one. I put it on his body there and I try to you know give the body a little curve to it and uh, put it on him to uh, to wear. This is gonna be his uh, cape, shall we say. So let's see what we got here. We can put this on about where the wing starts and I want, may, may have to trim it down just a little more here so it looks more like his body. And uh, I'll just be gluing this on.
to cap off my owl's wing, what I'm going to do is put a piece of uh, shiny gold tape that I have and make that be the, the cap to his wing. Okay, I'm getting my next little bird here, and I'm going to decorate him a third way. And this is a little more time-consuming than the owl, but even then, it's, it's not too bad because the finished result is outstanding. I hadn't used any siri cloth except on the blue jay at the beginning, so I have some siri cloth here. Um, at least that, I think that's what it's called. It's actually kind of a silky fringe. And I will be putting it down uh, on his uh, back tail feathers uh, in layers. And uh, I'll just let you watch and see how I do it. Okay, now yeah, I have all my birds of a feather who flock together. Um, I want to show you each one close up since part of the time I was too low and I apologize for that again. Uh, here's the bird with the washi tape and see his curl of feathers. That's because I clipped the edges and it was down on my mat here. And as I said, the solution is either leave them curled or let them stick down to the uh, page on your junk journal. And these don't necessarily have to be a junk journal. It could be a, uh, a nature journal and uh, they'd look right pretty there. Okay, here's my bird out of the silky fringe. I don't know if it's called Siri cloth or not, but I know it's, it's real silky and soft and it's got fringe and this is the closest to feathers that I had. And um, I put a, a little p extra piece up there where it hooked onto the bird. I really like this one. Here's my owl. Put a little cap there of the gold that I like make and I like on it. And I kind of gave it a, a peek here 
uh, on his wing, and you really couldn't see his tail feathers. So it, that could either be the feather or part of his wingy, which it's whichever you wish. I decided to do something to this little uh, owl, and so what I did, I decorated him with uh, lace. There's one little piece there, then a double piece, and then a triple piece. And then I topped it or kept it off with three stones. This little bird um, is made with um, paper ribbon again. And I just cut a couple pieces, attached it to the bird, and put a little cap of the gold again. I kind of like that gold tape. It's just regular tape. Um, but it's nice and shiny. Here's my blue jay that I showed you at the beginning of the tutorial. You were, weren't able to see him very well. Uh, this is Siri cloth here. And I decided to cap him off with a piece of lace. The lace is kind of big, but so is the blue jay. And the one that took the longest is my little rooster. Uh, this is washi tape. Excuse me. This is Siri cloth again. And I twisted it. I started it at the beginning of the bird. Came around, kind of followed his natural tail feathers and left it open at the end. So uh, this one is very fragile. There's nothing really holding it except the glue that's holding the twist. And there's not much glue in there. So he's kind of on the fragile side. And I kept it off with uh, a group of stones. And that is my tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it. Hope you had a couple of laughs. And um, so go and try it yourself. In the meantime, have a great crafting day. And don't forget, come back and see me. And sub please subscribe. Bye.